actually always been very curious about biathlon. Yeah, I feel like it's one of those sports you always see, but do you actually know what's going on? I mean, I want to find out. So believe it or not, there are only three biathlon courses here in the country that have a shooting range, lights, and a groomed course. One of them right here in Middleton, Wisconsin at Blackhawk Ski Club. So I went to find an expert in the sport, and turns out not even she's not even old enough to drive yet. Being a biathlete doesn't mean you have to be good at one thing, but technically two skills. It's very hard to get good at both the cross country skiing and the shooting. Most of them will be in their mid 20s to young 30s. It seems to be that's in the peak of that sport. Just ask eighth grader Julia Torsani from Middleton, who has been a biathlete since age four. Some days skiing's really good and the snow's fast, and some days just not great, and for shooting, some days just better than others. I just take a couple deep breaths before I take my first shot, and that usually helps. You're trying to get your sights aligned, but your heart is pounding, so the rifle's just swaying back and forth, and it's like, oh, very difficult. <laughs> and it's all about timing. Somebody's taking 25 seconds per shot, and somebody's taking 40 seconds per shot. There's a minute difference there if you're shooting four times at 15 seconds. So it's, it's very, very, very hard. Just do all that at once. If you don't hit every single one. Every time you miss a target, you have to ski 150 meter penalty lap. So if you miss uh, four penalty laps, you're skiing, what, another 600 meters. You always come into the target thinking, I am going to hit every target. So, I mean, you could be ahead of everyone, be the first one down the target, and then you miss two shots. It doesn't even matter because you have to go take those penalty laps, basically. Yes, and now all of a sudden you went from first place to now all of a sudden you're in fifth place. And that's what would be fun to watch in the Olympics. You is... never really know who's going to win until the very end. So needless to say, it's a lot of practice. It takes a long time to get good at. But once you do, it comes like a lot easier and you knock down a lot more targets. The best biathlete in the world is not always going to win every race because there's that element, oh element of luck. Madison native Joanne Reed is a member of Team USA in Pyeongchang and inspiring the future of American biathletes. I think I would like to be like her in a way, where how she's like progressed so much just over a short period of time even. She went from like not participating in biathlon at all and to going to the Olympics and I think that's really cool and I'd like to do that too.